Well, liars beware. Your eyes can give you away. Wait until you see this new eye detector. That story coming up at 1045. Welcome back, everybody. Are you telling the truth or are you a liar? A new detector can find out just by looking at your eyes. The news station's David Martin shows us. Hi, everybody. I am with Neil Harris from Converis, who has a new product called Eye Detect, E-Y-E -E Detect. It's a new type of lie detector. Hello, Neil. How are you? Hey, great to see you. So what does Eye Detect do? Eye Detect detects deception through the eyes. It's different from a voice stress and a polygraph, and it's brand new. How is it detecting lies through my eyes? Well, there's a saying that the eyes are the window to the soul, and our scientists have proven that to be true. Let's put it to the test right now, shall we? Great. Pick a number two to nine, and then if it's a six or nine, put a number under, a line underneath it so we know. Okay, okay, okay so I'm going to write my and number then hide, And then hide it and stick it in your pocket. Well, actually, it's an infrared sensor that is measuring uh, 16 things in your eyes when you're lying. Eye detect would be good for police departments because... They can use it with suspects, they can use it to screen recruits, and there's many, many different ways that this technology can be used. Let's check out the results. Do we have them now? Yes. When you were lying about the number seven, do you see almost the vertical spike in the size of your pupils? The computer believes that the number that you chose was a number seven. That's amazing, because I got confused a bit in that test, uh, and the number that I had written down, seven. Yeah, we've... Um, that doesn't uh, surprise you, does it? No, we've run this test thousands of times. Where can people find out more information about, about eye detect? Uh, they can go to our website, which is converus, C-O-N-V-E-R-U-S.com. Good luck with all of this, my friend. That was a pleasure. Thank you. All right, back to you guys in the studio.